Good morning and welcome to Morning Prayer for Thursday, October 1st. Uh, before we begin, uh, sometimes I'm not able to record these in a timely manner, um, and there's no good way to predict it or let everybody know that watches this regularly uh, when that's going to happen. Uh, so just want to mention, you know, feel free to listen to uh, Morning and Evening Prayer from other days. It doesn't matter really what order you watch them in or if you watch all of them. And also to mention, if you look in the front cover inside the near the front cover of our hymnal the readings that we read for morning and evening prayer come from a list there it's called the daily lectionary uh, which is available for everyone to use uh, that's where all these readings come from and the idea behind them is not to get through the entire bible each year uh, but you will get through the majority of the new testament this way and about a third of the old testament and the old testament readings will hit all the major uh, stories leading up to Christ coming, all the uh, stories that have to do with uh, our salvation history, so you can keep up with it that way, or you can uh, get the app, uh, the Apple App Store and, and uh, Google Play. Uh, it's called Pray Now, and that is the electronic version of the book, uh, Treasury of Daily Prayer. Uh, so there's a number of ways you can uh, integrate that or find that uh, in, in different ways. Uh, with that, let's go ahead and begin. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. In the morning, O Lord, you hear my voice. In the morning, I prepare a sacrifice for you and watch. My mouth is filled with your praise and with your glory all the day. O Lord, open my lips, and my mouth will declare your praise. Make haste, O God, to deliver me. Make haste to help me, O Lord. Sing to the Lord and bless his name. Proclaim his salvation from day to day. Give to the Lord the glory and strength. Give him the honor due his name. Alleluia, alleluia. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Praise to you, O Christ. O come, let us worship him. Out of the depths I cry to you, O Lord. O Lord, hear my voice. Let your ears be attentive to the voice of my pleas for mercy. If you, O Lord, should mark iniquities, O Lord, who could stand? But with you there is forgiveness, that you may be feared. I wait for the Lord, my soul waits, and in his word I hope. My soul waits for the Lord more than watchmen for the morning, more than watchmen for the morning. O Israel, hope in the Lord, for with the Lord there is steadfast love, and with him is plentiful redemption. And he will redeem Israel from all his iniquities. Our Old Testament reading today is from Deuteronomy chapter 2. So as soon as all the men of war had perished and were dead from among the people, the Lord said to me, Today you are to cross the border of Moab at Ar, and when you approach the territory of the people of Ammon, do not harass them or contend with them, for I will not give you any of the land of the people of Ammon as a possession, because I have given it to the sons of Lot for a possession. It is also counted as a land of Rephaim. Rephaim formerly, formerly lived there, but the Ammonites call them Zamzummim, a people great and many, as tall as the Ankum. But the Lord destroyed them before the Ammonites, as they, and they dispossessed them and settled in their place, as he did for the people of Esau, who live in Seir, when he, when he destroyed the Horites before them, and they dispossessed them and settled in their place even to this day. And as for the Avim, who lived in the villages as far as Gaza, the, Kephort, the Kephtorium, who came from Kephtor, destroyed them and settled in their place. Rise up, set out on your journey, and go over the valley of the Arnon. Behold, I have given into your hand Sihon the Amorite, king of Heshbon, and his land. Begin to take possession and contend with him in battle. This day I will begin to put the dread and fear of you on the peoples who are under the whole heaven, who shall hear the report of you and shall tremble and be in anguish because of you. So I sent messengers from the wilderness of Kedemoth to Sion the king of Heshbon with words of peace, saying, let me pass through your land. I will go only by the road. I will turn aside neither to the right nor to the left. You shall sell me food for money that I may eat and give me water for money that I may drink. Only let me pass through on foot, as the sons of Esau who live in Seir and the Moabites who live in Ar did for me, until I go over the Jordan into the land that the Lord our God is giving us. But Sion, the king of Heshbon, would not let us pass by him, for the Lord your God hardened his spirit and made his heart obstinate that he might give him into your hand, as he is this day. And the Lord said to me, Behold, I have begun to give Sion and his land over to you. 
begin to take possession that you may occupy his land. Then Sion came out against us and all his people to battle at Jahaz. And the Lord our God gave him over to us. And we defeated him and his sons and all his people. And we captured all his cities at that time and devoted to destruction every city, men, women, and children. We left no survivors. Only the livestock we took as our spoil for ourselves with the plunder of the cities that we captured. From Aror, which is on the edge of the valley of the Arnon, and from the city that is in the valley as far as Gilead, there was not a city too high for us. The Lord our God gave all into our hands. Only to the land of the sons of Ammon you did not draw near, that is, to all the banks of the river Jabbok, and the cities of the hill country, whatever the Lord our God had forbidden us. Now we're writing today is from a little book by Martin Luther called The Adoration of the Sacrament. Just as you cannot make out of the gospel a sacrifice or a work, you cannot make a sacrifice or a work out of this sacrament, for the sacrament is the gospel. Therefore, in this matter, no one can achieve anything for another person. Each one must believe for himself, just as I must believe all the Gospels for myself. I cannot hear or believe or keep for anyone else so much as a single letter of the Gospel, even as I cannot be baptized for anyone else. But a good work I can always do to another person and for another person. Indeed, I have to do them for somebody else, or they are not good works. For example, I can pray for you, serve you, work for you, suffer for you, and so forth. There is a great difference between faith and good works, just as vast is the difference in value between the tree and the fruit. Fruits disappear and return each year, but the tree remains always. Faith always remains, but works disappear. Be careful, therefore, to stay on the track. Don't let anyone pull you away from the word through any statement of man, be it Augustine, Jerome, Bernard, or even an angel. The elect will be led astray, says Christ, Matthew 24, 24. Therefore, we cannot build on the mere word of one of the elect saints without Scripture. Christ has warned us faithfully enough, and our own experience has probably taught us that saintly men can make mistakes and have made mistakes. No good work can free us of our sins or give us grace or life or salvation. But this sacrament does give life, grace, and blessedness, for it is a fountain of life and blessedness. about angels was from a couple days ago. I forgot to take that off. Sorry. We join together in the Apostles' Creed in the Lord's Prayer. I believe in God the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. The third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven, and sits at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From thence he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Christian Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, the life everlasting. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. O Lord Jesus Christ, true King of heaven and earth, you promised to your church that the gates of hell would not prevail against her, and you still cause your word to be preached and your holy sacraments to be administered among us. But ah, O oh Lord, the sins of your people obscure the majesty of your bride. Your holy vineyard is trampled, and your blessed sacrifice stands neglected. Many think themselves strong and despise the life-giving food that you have ordained for your people for the forgiveness of their sins. Pardon all our arrogance, and do not come to us in wrath to remove the lamp of your word from before our eyes. O oh Lord, we pray you, visit this vine which you once established for yourself, and renew us with the sun of your mercy and the water of eternal life. Give us a great hunger for the food of your true body and blood, and let all your faithful people ever be found in the Apostles' doctrine, in the fellowship, in the breaking of your bread, and in the prayers. We implore you, O Lord, for our altar, that it may ever be a place where the medicine of eternal life, the forgiveness of our sins, strengthens us in body and soul, that disbelief and impenitence may stay far from all who come there, so that they may not eat and drink to their own judgment. O eternal High Priest, let the fruit of your Spirit grow in us, which is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, 
goodness, faith, gentleness, and chastity. Cause us to live in holy conduct toward one another to the glory of your holy name, here in time and hereafter in eternity. For you live and reign with the Father and the same Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Eternal God, you counsel us not to be anxious about earthly things. Keep alive in us a proper yearning for those heavenly treasures awaiting all who trust in your mercy, that we may daily rejoice in your salvation and serve you with constant devotion. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. I thank you, my Heavenly Father, through Jesus Christ, your dear Son, that you have kept me this night from all harm and danger. And I pray that you would keep me this day also from sin and every evil, that all my doings in life may please you. For into your hands I commend myself, my body and soul in all things. Let your holy angel be with me, that the evil foe may have no power over me. Amen. Have a blessed day.